Hello! You know that thing that you've been procrastinating because you feel like you're just not ready to do it? You're just not skilled enough, you don't have enough ability in a certain sphere to be able to, like, do the thing? Try it. Okay, it's not going to be the best thing ever. And that sucks, and that feeling can really drag you down. But the thing is, is you're never going to get any better at it unless you try it. You're never going to know for sure if you want to do the thing unless you give it a shot. That thing that's sort of like been your dream career for your entire life, but you're also kind of scared that it's not going to be how you imagine it to be or it's not going to work out the way that you want it to, try it. See if you can get a foothold in there somewhere. If you want to be a writer, which is I assume why you're on this channel, try writing something. Submit it to a short story contest, or whatever, or a poetry contest, or whatever. Write something short form and submit it to somewhere. Expect to be rejected. Do not expect to be accepted. But you know what? You've done it now. You've submitted it to somewhere. And in the grand scheme of things, that means somebody else has read your writing for judgement. And whether you've made it to the top 10 list or not is kind of irrelevant because you have no idea how many hundreds of thousands of people there were entering that contest. There could have been literally 7 billion people entering that contest. It's probably not likely, but it could have happened. And the thing is, is it just gets you that one step closer. I really truly believe you can do it. I do. I honestly believe you can do it. You just need to take that first step now. You can do this. Just put that little voice that's trying to tell you you can't because it's too hard into a little box. And put that little box on a shelf and say, okay, I will come back for you in a minute because I understand that you are a part of me and I can't get rid of you full time. But right now, I will put you in a little box on this nice shelf here, oh look I have a box, a little box on this shelf and you're going to wait here for me to come back when I'm ready to deal with you. And it doesn't always work, it's not a perfect solution and don't come at me and be there like you don't understand what it's like to have mental health woes and neurodiversities because I have both of those things so in the grand scheme of things you're wrong and that's actually something that I learned in CBT once was putting that feeling aside just for a little while. It's hard, don't get me wrong, but ultimately it will benefit you in the long run. Come back to it when you're steady and stable and ready to deal with it the same day or early the next day. <laughs> don't expect to be able to put it in the box on the shelf for a week, that's not going to happen. Put the box, put it in the box, put it on the shelf, take the step, pick it back up again. Regret everything you've ever done, whatever, whatever your process happens to be, but take the step. You definitely can, I fully believe you can do it, and I think you should try. Because ultimately, people are going to be shit to you for not talking when you're having a, like, when you're trying to buy milk. And if they're going to be shit to you for trying to buy milk, why would you ever listen to that angry voice in your head that says you can't do the thing that's going to bring you joy and satisfaction and excitement? Because in the grand scheme of things, milk does not bring me joy and excitement and satisfaction. Maybe it does to some people. Go off. I don't care. But, like, going to the shop to buy milk because I'm out of milk does not bring me any kind of joy, except that it allows me to make tea, I guess. So, like, having a shitty interaction with someone when I'm trying to buy milk is probably just as bad as the internal monologue that I have that tells me I can't do this, I can't publish a book, I'm not good enough to submit to that short story contest, I should never have taken any of the steps that I've taken on the road towards self-publication and who do I think I am self-publishing anyway because in the grand scheme of things everybody knows that self-publishing is the loser way out because somebody couldn't get a book deal and like in the grand scheme of things that's not what's happening here. Yes I did query the project that I am now self-publishing but it's also been through edits since then and I've decided 
that I don't like the querying process and I don't actually want to go through that for this book. It's not like a, oh, I couldn't get it out, I sent out two queries. <laughs> like, that's not a lot, that's barely even enough to even think about getting representation. There was no way that that was going to work. And I wasn't really doing it to get representation. I was doing it to explore the query process because I was taking a step to discover what I wanted. Each step that gets you closer to your dream, even if it gets you closer to your dream and you realise this dream, this goal that you had isn't quite right, each step that you take only gives you that clarity. It's only ever a positive thing. So, take the step. You can do it. I believe in you. That's all I've got for you today. Give it a thumbs up if you like this video. Think about subscribing to the channel if you want random chaotic I had a bad day pep talks. And it's like 9 in the morning, this is a really bad day. <laughs> or if you want any of the other stuff on my channel, please do go and explore it. I'm not going to go through everything I make here. Uh, all of the links to all of the relevant places are in the description box below. I hope you have a better day than I did. I hope you have a better week than I'm having. It's only Wednesday when I'm filming this and I'm having a bad week. But um, things are starting to look like they might be turning around because one of my friends has emailed me about a really exciting venture that we're doing together and I'm super jazzed about that. And yes, if you want to support me in what I do, there's a link to my coffee account in the description below. Bye. Do I have a plan for these pep talks? No, I don't. Do I literally only ever make them when I'm having a bad day? Yes, I do. It's the best way to turn a bad day around, really, is just to sort of radically be positive.